everyone. This is John Daly again for BQB and Right Life Publishing. I'm here today with Tina M. Zion, author of the new book, Be Your Own Medical Intuitive. How are you doing today, Tina? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Sure thing. Sure thing. It's, great. it's great talking to you. So, Tina, you are a fourth generation intuitive medium who specializes in, med in medical intuition. And this is a topic uh, you've written about in multiple um, instructional books. Can you explain to someone like me who really knows nothing about this area what medical intuition is and what it means to be a medium? Mm, okay. Medical intuition really uh, is defined in different ways with, I've noticed with different medical intuitives, but I see it as the ability, and we all have this ability, I do not have a gift, and I always tell everyone that, it's our ability to actually uh, deliberately work with our energy field and to deliberately help other people uh, with their energy and to bring wellness to their physical body, to their, their life in all kinds of ways, because I also take it into a, a healing. And what I've noticed when you asked me about the mediumship part, what I've noticed is uh, and I didn't notice this for quite a while, is that with the mediumship, I realized I was helping people, the living person and the deceased person, to bring a healing to their relationship a lot of times. Because our we are very, very uh, much an energy being. And so when we are deceased, we are very, very alive. And so I noticed over the years, I thought, wait a minute, there's healing happening here, even for a deceased person, as well as my living clients. Interesting. Interesting. Now, your latest book, um, Be Your Own Medical Intuitive, is that sort of a beginner's book on, on medical intuition, or is it for people with a, a more advanced understanding of the topic? It's set up so that a beginner can truly understand themselves as an energy being and truly start to direct their thoughts, their emotions, and their energy to bring healing in all kinds of ways. So if someone is already aware of these things and feels very confident in their abilities, they uh, could actually skip through kind of those beginning steps, uh, beginning chapters in the book. And I have uh, really put healing steps, and even my healing steps are bam, 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 uh, tells you exactly what to do. And the ones I put in this book too are the methods that uh, my spirit guides have given me and that have worked, because I've done this for a long time, that work really, really well for people. So uh, I'm especially pleased with uh, this book. Good, good. And another term I sometimes see that I was curious about, um, and it's it's included a couple times in your book titles, is Reiki, if I'm, if I'm pronouncing that right. Can you explain what that is? Yeah, it's pronounced as Reiki, and it's really started, oh gosh, back in the 1800s uh, with a monk in Japan. And he realized that he could fill himself up with this particular uh, frequency or this particular vibration of energy that was really from the divine. And he would put his hands on people uh, and, and bring such healing to them. And then uh, he would also uh, realize that uh, we could also heal ourselves. And um, so it spread all over the world because I teach before COVID, I was um, traveling all over the world teaching how to uh, do medical intuition. And uh, every single class is full of Reiki people. So it's really, really uh, an energy and a philosophy that has uh, traveled all, all around the world. I'm, I'm always surprised at how many people are aware of it and putting it into practice. Wow, wow, interesting. Now, um, my wife and I, we own two rescue dogs. And mm -hmm. I read one of your blogs um, in which you explained how a Reiki can actually be of great benefit to rescue animals. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, yes. And in fact, I have many stories about how people have read about that and especially using Reiki, although it doesn't have to be Reiki, we can do this energetically for our animals also. 
but Reiki has brought such soothing calmness, especially with rescue dogs, because many times we don't know their history. Many times we do know that there's an abuse history and it is so calming and relaxing to our animals that are very stressed and very anxious. And they're also, it kind of like rewires them to realize they're not still in that situation. And so it's been very, very helpful. And if, you know, if you know of Reiki practitioners, please ask them to, to work with your animals. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. Now, um, is it, I'm, I'm curious, is it difficult for you to convey your knowledge and experience with intuition and Reiki into writing, or are you pretty comfortable with it now, being that you, you've written several books on these topics? I'm very comfortable, and I go into like a zone, um, and the, the Be Your Own Medical Intuitive, my la latest book that just come, came out, um, it really flowed through me. So it's kind of like I felt like I got out of the way and realized that this is what should be said next and then what should be said next. And I also, I've been teaching uh, medical intuition, gosh, for I think around 15 years now to individuals and also to large groups. And so it, I just kind of got out of the way and it just flowed through. So yeah, that's how the only way I can think to do it. I tend to write on my screened-in porch in the summer, especially. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like my, my writing zone or something. Yeah, it's, it's always good to have a good, comfortable writing environment, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. It makes all the difference in the world. It really does. Now, um, what would you say has been your most uh, personally rewarding part about writing these books? Oh. You know what really keeps me going uh, all these years is, and I kind of get teary uh, with you asking me that even, that when I observe people pop open and realize their abilities, uh, I'll see it in a workshop. Um, people will email me and that's what keeps me going and that's what keeps me writing um, books uh, at this level to this degree is I love it when people realize that they can be empowered in their life and uh, stop being victims in their life. That just brings me to tears. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, I want to thank you uh, for, for spending some time with me today. Um, it mm -hmm. was really interesting learning about these things. You know, I've I've watched your books and I've seen that they've, they've been quite successful and uh, I've always been sort of a little more curious to understand um, more about, you know, what, what this is all about. Um, again, this is oh. uh, something I'm not, you know, didn't know, didn't know much about. So yeah, it's very, been very interesting to me. Um, can you tell people how to find out more about you and your books? Mm, thank you for asking that. Yes, my website name is very, very simple. It's just my name, Tina Zion. Dot com and on there will be all oh, my calendar of workshops coming up which most of them are live on zoom now and uh they'll see my books and also links to get them in you know auditory or ebook form or print great great well again i, I appreciate you uh spending this time with me thank you very much it's been it's been really fascinating you have a uh, you have a great day okay tina thank you so much thank you